Balita, Quiet News. Quiet suspended all types of work and entry visas for Filipinos on Tuesday after the Asian country allegedly violated a bilateral labor agreement with the state. Interior Ministry sources told Quiet Times they said suspension came at the orders of Interior Minister Sheikh Talal Al Khalid Al Sabah. Because Philippines has not complied with the provision of the labor agreement between the two countries, decisions was made after Philippines has breached the condition and provision of the labor agreement. The sources said, adding the decision aims to improve, impose the sovereignty of the state. The Philippine Embassy in Kuwait said late Tuesday it has not been notified yet of any such decision by Kuwaiti authorities. Philippines in February halted the deployment of first-time worker, especially domestic helper. Philippines in February he hated the deployment of first worker, especially domestic helper in Kuwait. Following green number of 35-year-old Filipina made by Kuwaiti teenager, the body of Jubilee B. Ranara was found in the desert and 17-year-old son of her employee was detained by police. Philippine labor officials said February they plan to engage in negotiation with Kuwait to review the labor agreement, which assigned two countries in 2018. Filipinos working and living in Kuwait earlier, the Kuwait Progressive Movement strongly rejected that said in the exploitation expatriate worker in the country, calling on authorities not to single them for blame for the imbalance of the demographic structure. As expats formed two-thirds of Kuwait's population, the rejection came in statement issued by the leftist movement after the cabinet announced late Monday the establishment of national committee to regulate the population in the country. Reduced the number Mainly of expats. Two. The statement rejected the discriminatory proposition that holds expats responsible for demographic imbalance, which was the result of several factors, including visa, trade, and recruitment of foreign workers because their wages are much lower. The movement said expat workers face a series of discriminatory measures, including low wages, delayed or unpaid salary, confiscation of passport, and others. It decried the Kapukala sponsorship system, describing it as a form of slavery where foreign workers are forcibly bounded to their employers. That's all, Kabayan.